A great comeback, Nick. Oh, stoked with the comeback. We normally come down here and things don't go our way, and I don't think they went our way in the first half. I mean, the goal was disallowed dubiously, I don't know, it was, could have been offside. Uh, and then we had the handball where, the, where uh, Bradley was trying to get his hands out of the way, I think, and rolled up to where his hands were. So it was pr probably should have been one near us at the, at the start. So I was pretty happy with the response that the lads had, even though that they got another goal back. Um, that could have been time to drop our heads, but we just battled away, got a few goals, and um, yeah, so it's really good that you know we've actually got a result in Hobart for a change. Yeah. What did you say to them at half time? It was all pretty positive at half time. Um, we'd been working on a few things at training, um, you know, trying to you know get our passing right through the through the forwards and stuff. So 
it was just more a refocus of what the job was and um, not to worry too much about the refereeing decisions. Um, a few of our lads and I can get carried away a little bit at times. But, um, it's important to just you know leave that in the past and move on and I think the boys did that really well today. It was a really mature effort from especially some of the younger guys here. Nathan, were you worried when you were 2-0 down? Yeah, I definitely was worried, Walter. Uh, it wasn't what we intended when we first started. Uh, I think we were really unlucky in that first half. Had a couple of decisions go against us um, and I was really genuinely worried. I think Nico, Nico had some inspirational words at half time. He, mm -hmm. he refocused us on what the job that we needed to do and what we intended to do when we came down here. Uh, I think Ben, ben Foote through the midfield was inspirational with his two goals and that really kick-started us for the second half. So I mean, you must be disappointed having led 2-0 and then to lose 4-2? Yeah, sure. Bitterly disappointed. Obviously the second half to concede four goals is uh, just not acceptable and uh, yeah, just very uh, gutted actually. And uh, you know, lo losing points uh, the last two weeks and now now here today again was certainly making it diff difficult for ourselves. So uh, yeah, it's all up to us and, and we just have to get results.